Uh, we are here to announce today uh, charges that have just been filed uh, against William Henry Cosby. These charges stem from a sexual assault that took place uh, on an evening in early 2004 at Mr. Cosby's home in Cheltenham Township, Montgomery County. Mr. Cosby is charged with aggravated indecent assault. This is a felony of the first degree. Mr. Cosby's attorney has been notified of the charges and he is expected to be arraigned uh, later this afternoon. When we have a specific time uh, for that, we'll let you know. Uh, and that's going to be at the, uh, the Magisterial District Judge's uh, office in Elkins Park. The charges today um, are filed as a result of new information uh, that came to light in July of 2015. The statute of limitations in this type of case is 12 years. After determining that, that the statute of limitations regarding potential criminal offenses had not yet expired, the investigation was reopened. Working with Chief Norris, and the Cheltenham Township Police, uh, Montgomery County detectives and prosecutors from our office. Uh, our team re reviewed the initial investigation, re-interviewed some of the witnesses, examined evidence from the civil case, and information from other alleged victims. The evidence shows Mr. Cosby established a relationship with the victim after meeting her through uh, her work associated with Temple University's women's basketball program. Through the course of their association, the victim came to consider Mr. Cosby her mentor and her friend. On two other occasions before the incident leading to the criminal charge in this case, Mr. Cosby made two sexual advances at her that were rejected. On the evening in question, Mr. Cosby urged her to take pills that he provided to her and to drink wine, the effect of which rendered her unable to move, respond to his advances, and he committed aggravated indecent assault upon her. Now, a prosecutor's job is to follow the evidence wherever it takes us, and sometimes that means whenever it comes to light. When U.S. Federal Judge Edward Rebrano unsealed legal filings that contained references to the civil deposition and we learned about allegations from other victims under similar circumstances, reopening this case was not a question. Rather, reopening this case was our duty as law enforcement officers with a sworn obligation to uphold our constitutions and to uphold the law. Today, after examination of all the evidence, we are able to seek justice on behalf of the victim.